Calmate. <laughs> okay. I know you we saw this in the morning. This was super unexpected. Did you I even... had to wait the whole day. Yeah. I ha- I didn't hear anything yet, but yeah. I had to wait the whole day. I know. When Did you did you even know this movie existed? I knew this movie was going to happen I, eventually. I honestly did not know this movie existed. I knew this movie was going to happen eventually. And I knew um Ben Platt was going to mm-hmm. be reprising his role as Evan. What's up everybody? John here and this is my daughter Leah and as you can see she is super excited for for this one. This was a totally unexpected trailer. And again, it's a totally unexpected because this is called the Wait, is it above me? No, it's above you. Look up. It's the nerdy reaction. <laughs> and we're, well, if you don't know, my daughter Leah no, is, a, is a theater nerd. <laughs> theater nerd. And this is totally off the beaten path for us because we normally, you know, geek out about all these superhero films, these ga- sci fi fantasy films, but now we're geeking out about theater because of this. Thing called Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> She's been excited all morning. She's like waiting for me to like come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's start doing this right. So, Leah, tell me what Dear Evan Hansen is about and why are you so excited about this trailer? Um, so Dear Evan Hansen was a book and then they made it into a musical and now they're making the musical mm-hmm. into a movie. Um, it's basically about this kid named Evan. He's a high schooler and his life centering around um, the events after the death of a kid named Connor, Connor Murphy. And it's important to know the tones around these, ar- around this, well, this play, because we saw this in San Francisco, yeah. deals about a lot about social anxiety and a lot of kleenex <laughs> well it deals um it's very heavy tones like um evan does have social anxiety there is talks about depression and suicide and mental health um in general basically life as a teenager mm-hmm. right and did we even bring kleenex to the play because i i remember crying um, I didn't. I didn't know one. anything about the Evan Hansen yeah, I, until yeah. we watched that. I play. just knew that this was like the one that beat Hamilton, and it came to San Francisco, and we had to watch it. Mm-hmm. And I was sobbing at the and, end. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like it was it was it was very mm-hmm. like. A, and I, I, I honestly I haven't listened to the soundtrack after that. Uh, unlike someone here who listens to the soundtrack. Every, most of my music most, consists most, of Broadway part, musicals, yeah. like at least 90%, mm-hmm. and then there's the pop music, you know. Well, anyway, you want to get to the reaction? Yeah. You want to get to this trailer? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> let's, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> What's that? Listen to the song. Yeah, I know. <laughs> See, um, oh, mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, Connor. Connor. All right, there's Connor. Zoe. Zoe, a gotcha. I think gotcha. Zoe. Yeah. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh no, the tree. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cry already. <laughs> I'm recall I'm having flashbacks of the of the play right Do you now. remember some of the stuff? Oh wow, Amy Adams. <gasps> oh no. I'm getting goosebumps right now. This is this is pretty well done. If you wanted to do something, huh? What? Are you? 
crying already? This musical makes me cry, okay? And you get to see the original actor actually. It's Ben Platt. Yeah, it's Ben Platt as Evan Hansen. The... Uh huh. Cause like, uh huh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> I'm like getting goosebumps just seeing this. La La Land and Greatest Showman. Okay. Were you ever actually friends with them? I never meant to make such a mess. <laughs> I was trying to help. <laughs> no! If you knew who I am, just how broken I am. I already knew. Ooh! There's the chills. <laughs> Hmm. <gasps> yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was mommy. That was her. That was I my wife. Wait till September. <laughs> We're watching that in theaters. Yes. We're watching that in theaters. So, well, well done. I think, well go, I think they're gonna go more in see, depth. See, with, I was. Hold on. Hold on. I was. I was. I. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, one. Oh my god. Yes, we're watching that in theaters. Two. I think they're going in more in depth with the characters because, um. I do know that, I remember that his sister, I think her name's Zoe, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Zoe was saying something about like how she, after, um. So you think this is going to be more of a cross between the play and the book? Yeah, because right? I do remember, I haven't read the book. I do yeah. want to read the book eventually, but um, I do remember Zoe mentioning something about after Connor's death, everyone was going up to her saying, right. oh, everyone wants to be the kid who killed himself, yeah. um, sister's gotcha. friend, and that kind of stuff. And it so seems like they're going to be more in depth. If you yeah. didn't watch the play, uh -huh. How would you recommend this to a person who hasn't watched the play? Because I know all the people who love Dear Evan Hansen, including us, mm -hmm. has seen it. And, you know, one would say like, yeah, this is actually pretty well done. I mean, mm -hmm. to me, I was trying to figure out the way like, okay, because the play didn't really have the school and, mm -hmm. you know, it had like the imaginary lockers and the imaginary yeah. it was Facebook a very simple walls. set. It was, a very simple, it was a very simple set, simple set except for then, I love the whole And then setup they put the this into a realistic setting uh -huh. because, you know, now that you have the power of movies that uh -huh. you can actually close down an entire high school to do a shoot about yeah, this. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to do how the whole... Yeah. Because um, there was this scene in You and, Will Be and, Found. And in some ways, it grounded it uh -huh. now. The, now this movie seems to be like, okay, this is really like an, an actual mm -hmm. like drama set yeah. in a realistic environment, which I was like impressed. And I still felt all those goosebumps coming mm -hmm. in from that play. Mm -hmm. And remember, we were way up yeah, there we in the up, rafters but, we, got, like, but we, we still still good we still like, it felt still it good. and so i was uh i was surprised like how okay like the vision of like a realistic environment came true which is something that i i have my doubts about like if if hamilton mm -hmm. were to do this like this i don't i don't know. think it would work but you know but this one actually they cast it pretty well though julianne moore amy adams mm -hmm. Uh, ben Platt reply, reprising his role. I, I, I do remember. I've seen the girl who plays Zoe. Mm -hmm. I just can't remember where specifically, but I've seen her before. In the the few times I've seen her, she's a pretty good actress. But go carry on. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I don't think. Um, I don't think it's gonna be like your typical musical where they break out into big song and mm -hmm. dance numbers, especially considering the. Tones. Oh, there, no, no. There, there's gonna be a break. There's well, gonna be. Well, a... I know there's gonna be. I'm the one that I'm probably gonna say would be if there were to be like a mm -hmm. musical number where they're in song and dance, because mm -hmm. you can't do it for like you will be found or. Uh, 
the more heavier songs towards yeah. the end of the musical, obviously. But I do know probably it would be Sincerely Me. Is Sincerely Me the one with the with Connor? Yeah. Talking Dear to Connor, yeah, Murphy, yeah. yeah yada yada. And then yeah, it that, was like, that's something I would be curious. And they were joking about. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll I'll let you guys know. Um, so, I'll let yeah. you guys figure that out yeah. for yourself. So anybody who's here on the YouTubes, uh, let the us... The YouTubes. The YouTubes. I'm just going to call it the YouTubes now. The YouTubes. Uh, feel, free, feel free to comment on, like, what do you think? Like, if you've seen Dear Evan Hansen, do you think this is going to work, the film-wise? I mean, based on the trailer, I'm just getting goosebumps, but do you guys feel the same? Or... You know, or any even any of the like these other sound uh, sound bites in there, like sincerely me. How do you think that's going to work with 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 uh, this type of setting? Which uh, this is like that's why I'm curious to watch this. I am still going to bring a box of Kleenex because this is probably going to be my second go around. Unlike someone. Right there, oh, I, I, listen I, to the not, soundtrack multiple times. Just because times. I listen to the soundtrack does not mean I'm not going to be crying in theaters. Do you cry when you listen to the soundtrack? Oh, no, though? no, Do you still because cry? I'm singing okay. along with it, so okay. it kind of distracts me from you know the pain yeah. of the musical. But you know, also, I will be most likely. Crying. Also, who, whoever whole whoever has the rights to Wicked, come on. <laughs> We've already have Dear Evan Hansen. Hamilton's already out in Disney Plus. Where is my Wicked film? <laughs> Anyways, he's been he's this has been a long going thing. This is not new, so no, I know. Like he like, really wants his Wicked. I really film. want my Wicked film. I can't I can't spend like X amount of dollars just going from play after play. Or you could listen. To the soundtrack. No, I need You can visuals. just let me play the Broadway songs in the car. You don't want me to play Broadway songs in the car. When I say, hey, let's listen to Broadway, you're like, no. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. No. It doesn't tell the whole story. It doesn't That's tell the saying. whole story. You know the whole story. You can listen to their songs. I, I didn't say I didn't listen to Wicked mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. Before you became a theater nerd. <laughs> <laughs> now, since I like it, he can't like it. <laughs> yeah. But ah, this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good trailer. Uh, you wanna take us away, or are you still crying? <sighs> Any more reactions? Um. I don't know. This came to me as know. a surprise. I didn't know that this was being created. Uh, kudos I, to bringing back I ben didn't Platt. expect it to be uh-huh. like already you know it's already out done and, like uh, maybe just maybe because COVID happened they, they so. ha- ended up like hey we can actually do this in a school in, in a in a, in a school in a school where it's closed mm-hmm. down right <laughs> or something like that but uh, maybe that's why it fast track I honestly didn't know that this was gonna this was going to show up uh, but you know, I know Amy Adams how... can sing. This Julianne Moore, I don't know. Hopefully, can sing. I'm sure. You know, they... you don't. You don't want to. Hope... You, you don't want to do another Javert. I hope they do good. <laughs> I hope that these people can sing though, yeah. because like, especially during I the songs a, yeah. where they're like all in mm-hmm. harmony kind of thing, yeah. and then you are in the moment. You're already in the moment of the scene, the yeah. story. It's already capturing you, and then that song, especially in You'll Be Found, that last few, mm-hmm. like the last minute of that song where it's like they're all singing together, yeah. and it just hits you right in yeah. the heart. Well, anyway, we're going to keep on nerding out about this, obviously. <laughs> uh, you want to... You want to... Say goodbye. Oh yeah. Um, <sighs> like you know, do um, if you like our reaction, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell. Feel free to comment on. I'm, I'm doing the sign language. <laughs> I'm doing the sign thing. That's not sign language, Daddy. Um, feel free to comment on what you're excited, which songs your favorite, and um, let us know about Dear Evan Hansen and other musicals like Wicked that needs to be a film already. You're still bitter about that. You're so bitter. No, Leah, it's called Defying Gravity. Too much? 
Too much? That doesn't make any sense. Well, anyway, bye guys. Bye, love you. Oh. That doesn't make any sense. Defying gravity. It's called defying gravity.